Previously on Town Hall 9 Free to Play, we showed off a cool technique for destroying clan castle troops in clan war. Today is the start of Balloon Week with the most popular farming strategy. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 31 of the Town Hall 9 Free to Play series. This week is Balloon Week, meaning we're going to get into those Lava Hound and Balloon Variated Armies. But we're going to get things started with the most popular farming army in the game at Town Hall 9 by far. Balloons and Minions. You guys love this army. And as I've been using this army, I've been trying to kind of figure out like what it is you guys love so much about it. And when we look at the attack log, I think it really speaks for itself. You guys love the instant gratification of three-starring every single base in global. I know, <laughs> I know that's exactly what it is. And so for the most part, overall, we've been quite successful with three-starring just about every base. But, you know, it's just kind of one of those things. It's like it gives a lot and it takes a lot. Sometimes you're going to win some big raids and sometimes you're going to lose some seriously big raids. But overall, the loot has been quite consistent. I mean, we're talking 800,000 loot here. 700,000 right there and then 600,000 right there and, and realistically is not necessarily that challenging now one of the misconceptions about this army is that you can do this out in global and three star and then you think that you can go into clan war and three star and that's not necessarily how this works because a lot of bases in clan war are designed to stop you from doing this spam style balloon army but out in global it is what it is take all the loot that you can get and that's why it's so incredibly popular so what we're doing right now is we're using our heroes to go after this one air defense and we're trying to break it down to exactly three air defenses and leave the queen down here for the balloons to crush as she moves into these wizard towers now wizard towers air defenses air sweepers they're major defenses for really disruption of your balloons as well as the expos if you can find bases with dead expos you'll be able to clear it with ease like very very easily but with these expos alive it does make it a little bit more challenging to crush the entire base so we're allowing that queen to work for a moment and we're going to come up from the bottom side by just spamming all of our balloons we're just going to drop all the balloons and then back it up with some minions not all of them but some minions and we're going to release that lava hound to go inside the base and basically block for the balloons now this is one of the major differences between hog riders and balloons is that balloons move slower than a hog rider does and balloons also kind of require that tanking unit in the lava hound to block for them and so we're going to use our rage spells just kind of drop strategically to keep these balloons powering through the base taking down those major defenses with the expos and the wizard towers because again those are like your most detrimental defenses now something you must be concerned about is clan castle troops if there happens to be a dragon in there or an electro dragon you could be in trouble you know baby dragons they'll take down balloons quickly so just be aware of that if you happen to find those clan castle troops you might lose the raid or you might lose all of your balloons in the process it's just something that you have to be aware of so we're going to go out and do a live raid let me speed this one up that way you can see the army for yourself and we're going to see if we can find ourselves some decent loot because i am doing some dark elixir farming today there's your army right there let's get into that live raid all righty then so we got ourselves a nice dead base here with 642,000 gold and 630,000 elixir with 3.8 thousand dark elixir now when we look at this base you'll notice that the expos are in fact dead and that the air defenses are kind of right here on the edge of the base but they're still tucked inside the base with the archer queen right there so we're gonna go ahead and try to help our troops out a little bit and try to get rid of that archer queen let's do a little bit of funneling in the process or at least try to let's drop a minion right there it's outside a range of that archer tower and we might actually be able to drop it there but i'm not really sure let's see okay yeah so we're outside of a range of that air defense now we want to try to get rid of that queen first let's drop our barb king let's drop our queen and we're going to do a little bit of working now you don't necessarily have to have your king and queen for this army you can just spam your balloons and uh, take down the base doing that but we're going to try to use our heroes in the best best method that i know how we're going to crack that queen inside the base she's going to work on that gold mine the king and barbs got in on the air defense but they were unsuccessful and looks like the queen's going to work her way in on one air defense and possibly quite possibly get rid of a second let's see if we can try to speed this up a little bit so let's do this let's use her ability take down that air defense let's drop that let's drop a haste spell there and let's just go ahead and flood this side of the base with our balloons let's drop a rage spell there and there and drop our lava hound to come across the base and let's drop some minions back behind them to help out a little bit but we're not going to drop all of them let's go ahead and drop let's see here they're going to work their way into an air sweeper let's speed them up right here 
and let's speed him up right here to get in on that final air defense and we're just going to basically bully this entire base now see you, i mean we got a massive balloon parade going on here and look at all those balloons Woo! and the lava hound didn't pop so i mean dead bases this base or this army will completely crush a dead base all day long and we don't even need that final hay spell we're just going to hold on to that for the next raid uh lava hound it helps out quite a bit but you don't necessarily need it if you're hitting strictly dead bases the lava hound really comes into play when you got to face off against bases that are very much alive like those expos and the queen and the clan castles and all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and let this one finish out and we're gonna go ahead and request another lava hound and go back out and do another live raid all right so maybe one of your concerns for this army is the fact that it is very heavy on elixir it is about 265,000 elixir to train this army but it's very limited dark elixir at 255 so if you raid enough you can steal a ton of dark elixir with this army and you kind of make up with it with the dead bases to gain your elixir back so we need to train our next army and i don't think we have our heroes yet so let's go out and do a live raid without our heroes and see what we can produce now we're going to scroll through some bases and see what we can find along the way looks like we got a queen alive and a ground set expo if you guys not are not aware of those expos you got one on the ground right here and then you'll see that this one is actually angled up towards the sky that's the difference between the expos if you're not aware of that that's very important to know especially if you're using a air army an air army it's very important to know those things because you have a base that has those ground set that expos the ones that are flat on the ground you can crush a base all day long with balloons so we're going to scroll through a few more times and see if i can find one and if not i will have to find one on my own all right so we have scrolled through a few bases it took a few moments to find this base this is an incredibly dead base but it's also got some seriously high defenses on it and we also have the archer queen alive on the edge of the base and the king on the top side of the base but we're using air so there shouldn't be any clan castle troops here now, one of the major concerns about this army because you continue to win is the fact that you move up in trophies and then you start moving up in the Masters League and then you start losing some of the loot. Now, some players get really fortunate by finding a lot of loot. So we're going to start out on this side of the base by the Queen's location and we're going to drop our Lava Hound in there and our minions to back it up. Let's go ahead and get some rage spells down since we're going to go into an air sweeper here in a second. Let's see if we can try to clear this base. No promises though, because this is a high level base. We got an extremely high level base going on here. So let's drop a haste spell there to launch our balloons across the base. Let's drop another rage spell there. Power up this major group of balloons and hopefully get them across the base. And looks like they're going to come into this location here and run out of rage effects. Let's drop another rage there and our lava hound is going to unfortunately pop on us now our balloons are moving around the top side of the base we're coming pretty close we might need to speed this group up over here to get into this location let's drop that hay spell get them into that archer tower hopefully they backtrack takes out the air defense and i mean this is why players love this army so much guys i mean it <laughs> just completely wiped out these higher level air defenses it really didn't matter so you got to use your spells wisely you have to drop them you can't just kind of drop and and hope for the best you got to hold on to those hay spells to speed up those balloons into those situations where you got to worry about the wizard tower or you need to get an air defense down really fast that is a massive amount of loot but that's the army that we're using let's go see if we got our heroes back yet all right so let's go ahead and finish up this video on this final raid this base does appear to be very much alive and it looks like we have ground set expos i think maybe yeah i think yeah that's ground set and then I think we got one over here as well. We got some pretty good value here with a queen and a air defense. So let's go ahead and try to finish up by getting another three star, but we might mess it up. I don't know. Let's see how this works out for us. So let's go ahead and drop the king here and we're gonna use our queen back behind. We do have to worry about that ground set air defense or the ground set expo because of this. And so that king's taking a beating and we're also losing minions along the way. And then also the queen is gonna step in. Maybe we can get some pretty good value here, but there's just no promises. So let's go ahead and drop our balloons across up here and let's back it up with the lava hound. Let's drop our rage spell here, here, and let's drop some minions in here to help out a little bit. All right, so it looks like our balloons are coming to come through the base and the queen's gonna sneak in. She's gonna get taken out by a baby bomb, unfortunately, but we do have the lava hound uh, blocking for us. So we're gonna drop our rage spell there. Let's drop a rage spell here since we gotta worry about a wizard tower and we're gonna get a split out of our balloons. But we got this massive party over here. We still got two haste spells. So we might be able to speed these balloons up into that final air defense. Let's go ahead and drop the haste spell there get into the air sweeper get into that final air defense the balloons are going to launch across through that 
haste spell, get into the final wizard tower, and realistically speaking, we didn't even need to try to do any suicide anything because it just wasn't effective. So some things that you need to worry about is air defenses, wizard towers, and properly placing those spells to, you know, move those balloons into those heavy defenses like the, those, you know, those wizard towers and those uh, air defenses. But again, the queen plays a role, the king plays a role, try to apply them in. This was a little bit more of a stable base that you couldn't necessarily use that suicide hero technique on, but another nice 4,200 uh, dark elixir pull on that one and 24 more cups, even though we're not necessarily trophy pushing on this account and I think we did finish up another event so I mean a great way to finish this video on finishing up an event grabbing another hero book that way we can get our king back down immediately after putting him down and that way we can start working into level 25 and get ready for town hall 10 next week so anyways that's gonna wrap us up for today guys if you enjoyed the content smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you need any additional video support click one of those links over there we will see you in the next one guys take care